I am uh, your host today, host on this event. And uh, let's start our event. Uh, first of all, let's check our connection, our internet connection. Please put plus in our chat box uh, if you hear and see me well. Mm -hmm, I see plus. Okay, so much participants today. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see that uh, we have a good internet connection today and <laughs> so much pluses. <laughs> okay, let's start. Uh, I am Evgenia Sazonova. I am a public speaking uh, trainer and a professional coach. And as I told before, today I am your host. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you in uh, our English Coaching Week 2019. It's uh, the first day, it's official opening of this event, and uh, thank you for joining us. So, um, it's a great tradition uh, of uh, practicing uh, coaching in English, and we have a lot of uh, great guests in our event. And uh, first of all, please... Uh, uh, let's um, follow some simple rules. Mm -hmm. You can see our rules in the uh, slide. So, uh, please relax and uh, make yourself comfortable. And if you don't understand something, uh, don't worry about it and just concentrate on words, uh, you know. The main idea is uh, what's important. Just practice in English and don't think about mistakes. I make mistakes uh, also, but I adore English and I uh, enjoy this <laughs> language. So it's the most important. And uh, everyone's level of understanding English is different. So please choose a comfortable uh, form of participation. Uh, you can uh, listen and speak with voice. You can uh, listen and write in our uh, chat box, and you can just listen. Uh, but I hope that uh, the main reason um, why uh, you are here today is uh, practicing English. So I hope that you will use microphone and video, and uh, we will uh, speak together. And uh, with the... Uh, Big pleasure. I would love to introduce our organizer and uh, um, author of this event and also my teacher in the uh, program English for Coaches, Dmitry Hachlov. Uh, Dmitry Hachlov uh, is a professional certified coach by the ICF. And uh, he is a uh, author and trainer uh, of the programs, of the projects, English for Professional Coaches and English Coaching Week and uh, English Coaching Club and uh, uh, English Coaching Conference, a lot of projects. Thank you, Dmitry, for it. And uh, he's a founder uh, of the International Coaching and Linguistic Association, Lingua Global Pro. So, Dmitry, the floor is yours. Evgenia, thank you very, very much for your nice introduction. Colleagues, hello, good morning, good afternoon, or maybe good night for some of you, because we can be in different uh, time zones. So um, how well can you see and hear me? Please put a plus. I want to check connection again before we get started. Okay, I can see a lot of pluses. It's great. So our connection is stable, it's very important. Okay, so um, I think some of you knows me pretty well and maybe you have visited previous English coaching weeks because it's, uh, it became a good tradition. So this time is the third time we are conducting English coaching week, especially for Russian speaking coaches. Please put a three pluses 
if you have ever attended English Coaching Week and put a minus if it's your first time here today. So pluses and minuses. Okay, I think it's like 50 to 50. So, okay, it's great to have new faces. Okay, I can see, I can see you unfortunately, but I can read you. So, and it's great. So uh, once again, welcome to our event. And uh, you can see some information about myself on the slide. I don't want uh, to talk a lot about myself, maybe some important things. So I teach three languages, English, German, and Spanish, and I learn two languages. Uh, you know, it's my uh, love and passion. I'm going to use these words today very often. Uh, so I love languages. It's my first love and my second love, guess what? Coaching, right. So uh, four years ago, uh, actually five years ago, I started coaching and now I'm a professional certified coach by the ICF. I do coaching sessions in different languages. I teach languages using coaching approach. And of course, as you can see uh, on the slide, I have a very big mission, it's ambitious mission, and this mission is connected with all of you. So my mission is to create and do my best to maintain our community of professional coaches in Russian-speaking countries who love practicing and using English in their life and career. That's why we're here. So I invite you to enjoy our meeting today to enjoy our week because we're going to meet every day at 12 o'clock Moscow time every day so five times at the same place okay let's go to the program of our English coaching week 2019 so we have some little changes so unfortunately and uh, it's uh, it's concerning today's today's opening so karina zaruba one of our speakers for today uh she's ill she wrote to me yesterday uh she has flu and uh, her children i think uh, are ill too that's why so karina is not with us today unfortunately let's wish karina uh get soon uh, get well soon and i hope next time karina will join us so, and the same situation, unfortunately, with Olga Solodova. Uh, I got her message today. So, as you know, uh, Olga is a master certified coach. Um, so, and she's ill too. Maybe it's epidemic, I don't know, flu epidemic epidem in Russia. So, and that's why, unfortunately, we have lost two great speakers. But I hope next time they will join us. But... Good news, uh, we have today Irina Stajnowska. She She's going to share her story about English and coaching with us. I'm going to share my story and let's share together your stories, okay, colleagues. I want to make our events as interactive as possible. Please uh, don't be shy and use microphone and video to share your stories or your experiments. Maybe you're just beginning this path of cross-culture coach. So at the end of our event today, we're going to have time and you can tell us your story, your experience in doing coaching in English or maybe learning English using uh, coaching approach. So it's for today. Uh, for tomorrow, day two, Gorka Bartolome, he's going to join us tomorrow at 12 o'clock. As you know, he's a master certified coach from Spain. He uh, visited and attended several times my uh, events uh, connected with uh, cross-culture coaching. And he's going to talk about how to become a successful cross-culture coach because he has a big experience in this. And it's very great because uh, he's ready to coach some of someone from our participants so we're going to enjoy a live demo session with a master coach from spain please don't miss it uh so day number three uh we're going to have supervision with two uh great coaches with sam miguel mcc from usa and rena judge acc from united kingdom they are going to talk about supervision and advanced professional development, learning to see what's really happening in coaching. And of course, 
we need practice. So they are going to show us a supervision session, how supervision works in real life. It's day number three. Day four, it's my pleasure to, uh, to have Esther London. It's uh, one of the latest MCCs in Russia. And it's very great because last time uh, in the previous English Coach in the Week, she was mentee with Gorka Bartolome. And now she's going to be a mentor for one of Russian coaches. So Esther is going to provide a mentoring session and you can learn with her. We're going to learn together and get wonderful recommendations how to improve our coaching in English with Esther Landa. So it's day four, day number five. So it will be my turn. I'm going to talk about top secrets from polyglots and lingual coaches, how to coach effectively in English or other languages and how to learn English effectively. Yeah, so it's our, it's our program for this week. So, uh, and colleagues, I want to know your opinion. Do you like our program? Are you ready to be with us, to be with us all this week? Please put three pluses if you like the program, or maybe you have some comments or questions, please welcome to ask the questions. Okay, so I have, I can see pluses. I'm ready, very like this opportunity. Okay, great. So, and let's start with the first personal story. And I want to start this one today. Yes, so I think we don't need slides for now. I'm going to switch my slides and I'm going to talk. Give me one second, colleagues. Okay. Uh, so, as you know from previous slides, I'm a professional linguist and I teach languages. And basically, my story, my story starts with two main words. Uh, it's love and passion. And I want to tell you how all started. So it was many, many years ago. I was at school and I fell in love with German. Maybe for you it's a surprise, but it's my first foreign language. So at that time I didn't have a choice and everybody learned German at school. It was in 19, I think in 1995 or something like that. So, and I fell in love in German as a language, you know? So for me, I think it was not so important what language to study. For me, it was great just to start speaking another language. And it was a difficult time, maybe some of you remember that time 20 years ago or more, when we didn't have all these opportunities, I mean, internet resources, uh, wonderful ways to practice uh, languages using internet opportunities, yeah? But I fell in love, I don't know how it happened, but I, fall, I fell in love with German. And you know, it was like my priority number one. So every day, I spent some time, sometimes more, sometimes less, to practice German, and I didn't have any chance to speak with anybody. And you know what? I talked with my mom. So she doesn't speak German, but anyway, she was pretending to listen to me and understand me. And I got big pleasure because it was the only way to speak with somebody in German because I, I was living at that time in a small village in Siberia, no opportunities for practicing any languages. So, uh, so uh, in this way started my story and I fell in love with German and then I entered the Linguistic University in Irkutsk. It's my hometown, let's say so. And I fell in love with English. And I started practicing English and German together during five years. And you know, it was my priority, nobody forced me. So it was like, my work, my life, my studies, my everything. So I spent five wonderful years at university. Then I started to write my PhD thesis or dissertation. I traveled to Germany. I met some colleagues, teachers too. We changed uh, and we shared our experience together. 
and so on. I wrote my dissertation, I defended it successfully, I got PhD in linguistics, and then I had wonderful experience as a translator, Olympic translator, working with Russian athletes in bobsleigh and skeleton. It was preparation for Olympic Games in Sochi. It's one more interesting milestone in my career as a teacher and translator. I enjoyed two wonderful years, spending a lot of time translating German, English, and helping the athletes and taught them. I also taught them English using some coaching techniques. At that time, I didn't know that it was coaching. And after the Olympic Games in Sochi, it was 2014, I found out about coaching. One colleague, one friend told me, okay, you know, maybe you will like coaching. So I started coaching at our International Coaching Academy with Svetlana Chumakova. So these are words of my friend. And she gave me some materials. I got interested and so started my second love and passion for coaching. It was four years ago in 2014. So it was real love, you know, because my, my life changed. I quit my job and I started working for myself. I can believe four wonderful years of working for myself, enjoying my freedom, enjoying languages and creating so many wonderful projects. As you know, uh, I have several projects for coaches uh, to practice English, you know? So, and now what I do now, okay, I combine two my loves in one, so languages and coaching. I teach languages using coaching approach. It's much more effective, as I can see, and uh, from feedback from my clients. So the second part of my activities is do coaching, do coaching sessions in Russian, and it's very important in English, German, and Spanish. So I do coaching in three foreign languages. I enjoy it. Sometimes it's challenging, but my clients get some results and I'm happy for them and for me being a cross-culture coach. And the third part, I work with coaches. So I teach coaches how to become cross-culture coaches and to start doing coaching in English. So I think uh, basic words uh, from me to you today is just to love what you do, to love English, to love coaching, and just to have these two parts in one big love, let's say so, yeah? So for me, it's love and passion. I'm passionate about what I'm doing. And for me, it's not work, it's my life. And I don't uh, notice the time. For me, it's just pleasure. And today, it's again, big pleasure to be with you. Okay, I can talk a lot, you know, so I can talk several hours about my life, about my hobbies, about my passions. So let's have time for questions. Uh, as you know, on Friday, I'm going to talk more about my secrets how to become a cross-culture coach, but maybe you have some questions today. I'm open to answer your questions and we have time today for your questions. Please use microphone and video if you can. If you can't, so of course you can use our chat box. Uh, can I ask you? Yeah, um, yeah, please, yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Um, my uh, my level is upper intermediate, so I'm sorry if I will make any mistakes. Uh, what level uh, I have to? What level of English I need to have uh, if I want to work with uh, English? With uh, if I have if I want to have practice in coaching in English with native speakers or uh, not uh, native, but just in English. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your question. So your question is about level of English, right, Inga? So, yes. yeah. so uh, what uh, country or city uh, are you from? I'm from Russia. Okay, and what city? You can just introduce shortly. Moscow. Moscow. Uh, yes, uh, Moscow, yes. And I'm a certified uh, coach and I would like to uh, improve my skills and to make it more, um, to make more people happy <laughs> in okay. the world. <laughs> so, I need to practice too. so you have a great intention to make people happier 
And you know, uh, concerning your question, so you told us that you have pre-intermediate level of English. It's enough to start, you know? From my experience, so many coaches are afraid of starting because they think my English is not enough. I need to learn it maybe one year more, maybe two years, you know? But the more you wait, the more time you lose. Just go into practice, Inga. So my, rec uh, my recommendation for you and for all of you, colleagues. So if you have at least pre-intermediate level of English, you can and you should start practicing coaching English. You can start with your friends. You can start with your colleagues. Maybe you have some foreign friends from different countries. Okay, if you are not sure, you don't need to charge. You don't need to get money. Start with providing free coaching sessions just for your practice. And then with the time, you can improve your English, your level of English, and your skills. Because it takes time, you know? To improve any language, you need time. And sometimes, and in most cases, it takes years and years. But you should enjoy the process. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for your great question. Okay, colleagues. Can I ask you a question? It's Eugenia. Eugenia, uh, you are from... Yeah. Russia, yeah. Yes, I'm from Moscow, Moscow, Russia, and I'm really curious. Uh, tell us, uh, if if you can, how did you get your first paid client, and where? Mm -hmm. So my first paid client, you mean in coaching, in in coaching, in four yes. right? Yes. So it was my colleague, a uh, teacher from Germany, from Berlin. It was, I think, three years ago when I started uh, doing coaching in foreign languages. And I told, uh, I told her about my experience and she, she offered me, okay, Dmitry, please do some sessions with me. I'm ready to pay money because I want to improve my teaching skills. So she's a teacher. She's a teacher, she teaches several languages but she's German. So, and I started to work with her. And you know, and you know what else I want to add? You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of my uh, language clients, I teach languages. If they know that I'm a coach, because I, I tell them I'm a professional coach, and uh, in many cases, they want to have me as a coach too. And it's great opportunity to be useful as an English teacher, let's say, and coach. And sometimes I work uh, with one person in two directions. So I teach a language and I can provide coaching sessions. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great if you use your international connections. If you have some friends, colleagues in different countries, just start uh, with free, as I, as I told before, just start with free sessions and then, you know, it's like mouth of words. So people will know about you, find about you, and they will use your services. But with the time, of course, colleagues, it takes time. You should be patient. It's not that easy, but it's possible. So I'm one of these examples. Okay, so we have Admitri, uh, uh -huh. I'm Kati Vaskakova, and I would like to ask you if you usually um, use any international sites where you promote your activity, where you say that you are a coach using three languages and uh, that you are ready to coach in different, la in different languages. So not only community, mouth uh, of words, way of mouth, words of mouth, but also the sites. What are the links, if you can share with us, please? And uh, maybe some hints here. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. Uh, it's great to have you today. Please uh, tell our participants where uh, are you from? Um, it's uh, a hard, hard question for me to answer because I am living now, I live now in uh, Austria, but currently I am in uh, Russia. Okay. on vacation of my daughter but i am now already relocated to another country and i use my english also i am your colleague so to say so i teach english and um, secondly i i coach in english and russian mm -hmm. okay great 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 katya so your questions uh returning to your questions you know i use facebook very actively 
So I use Facebook, I use YouTube, I use uh, Interpulse. Maybe you know it's a um, language exchange platform when you can make friends, uh, international friends from different countries from all over the world. And I think from Interpulse, I got um, maybe about eight or 10 clients. From different, uh, from different countries. But you know, it's a platform to make friends. Yes, to make friends and um, to help each other with languages. But every, every time when I told about my background, about my experience, some of new friends, they got interested in having my services as a coach. So I would say in my case, it's on, I'm talking only about my experience. Interpulse this platform. I can give you a link if you want. Uh, so, YouTube and Facebook. Yes, I know that many coaches use Instagram. It will be maybe my next step. Now I don't have time for Instagram, but a lot of coaches uh, get popular using Instagram and uh, making some posts in English. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, but you know, again, uh, it takes time. I started doing this four years ago, and I think the first year I had only one or two clients. It was 2014, and then 2015 I got more clients because I got certified by the ICF. I got ACC level, and uh, it enabled me to promote myself maybe better in international context. So it takes time. It takes time, yeah. Thank you. Okay. I love your questions, colleagues. You might have... Hello, colleagues. I have a question. Oh, pardon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Elena and then uh, Ekaterina. Okay. Elena. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm Elena Belazerova from Moscow, Russia. So, Dmitry, my question is um, as I understood, you have a native speaker's uh, clients. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yep. what is your opinion? What advantage should coach have uh, in order native speakers choose them or not native speakers coach? Mm -hmm. uh, it's clear <laughs> question. So okay. if I'm an American, uh, why should I choose Russian coach, not American coach? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a good question. You know, uh, in most cases, I don't work with native speakers. I work, for example, uh, with, uh, so the last example, I work with a French guy, but we use in English. Mm -hmm. In this case, we are partners. You know that in coaching, we should create partnership. So create and maintain partnership relationships. In this case, it's easier and you are in both positions. So uh, most of my clients, they are not native speakers of English. It means I think I had one, two or three clients from United Kingdom and USA uh, because they, uh, they chose me using uh, ICF platform. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was important to have international coach from different background, you know. So it's important to some, uh, some clients prefer having a certified coach from a different country, from a different background, you know, because sometimes mm -hmm. If we, are, we, if we belong to one culture, we have the same stereotypes. And mm -hmm. some coaches, unfortunately, can lose a coaching position and have some cliches, you know, some uh, cultural things, if you understand what I mean, yeah? Mm -hmm. so, but in most cases, I work with foreigners for whom English is not a native la language like for me. So we are in, both, uh, we are in the same position, you know? Mm -hmm. So they choose you, not French coach, for example, because... Uh, you no, know, it depends, because uh, maybe they saw information about myself, because I am, as I, as I told before, I'm active on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. on Interpulse, you know, on international platforms. Then we have a small chat. If we mm -hmm. have chemistry, you know, it's important to have chemistry. If they see... Yeah. So Dmitry is an interesting person and he can be useful for me as a coach. They offer to have one session. Usually it's one session and then in most cases we create or we sign agreement for eight or 12 sessions. It depends on a request. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, my name is Yekaterina. I'm from St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, Dima, I have a rather personal question, I think, to you, if I may. Um, I absolutely support uh, the fact that you are a very interesting person. And I know that you're managing a lot of activities. And uh, being the student at your class, uh, I know that you share a lot of energy with your students. So managing these, all of these activities and sharing your energy, um, the question is, how do you manage your time? And where do you get, how do you, uh, what are the ways of getting your energy back if needed to restore it? Um, if you could share a couple of advices, I would be grateful. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Katya. As I know, energy is important for you right now. This yes. <laughs> all yes. energy, yeah? Okay, you know, uh, maybe you can see that uh, I'm like, I'm shining because I speak English, I'm speaking English and I'm enjoying it. You know, uh, what resources for me to get energy? Speaking with my friends, international friends. I have good friends, as you know, maybe in Germany, in Spain, in Brazil. And every time for me, it's pleasure to understand and to be understood, you know, and to share something I don't know from my personal life, you know, real communication with my friends and with new people, you know. I get a lot of energy from making new friends, of making new connections in English, German, Spanish, and now Arabic and Portuguese. <laughs> But you know, sometimes it's hard to, to, okay, as for time management, now at the moment I'm learning Arabic and Portuguese, and it's not that easy to have time for both languages. But I have 30 minutes for Portuguese and I have 30 minutes for Arabic. And you know, when I talk with my new friends who speak these languages as native language, I get a lot of energy. And, you know, sometimes I can be lazy. I am just a person. I can watch films, you know. It's like passive way of getting energy. I watch a wonderful film in English, German, Spanish, whatever, and I enjoy it, you know. And uh, traveling, traveling, of course. Maybe it's number one, traveling. As you know, I love traveling. So every time I travel, I get so much energy. It's like new life, new page for me. Yeah. Traveling and three, three wonderful journeys. Number one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, colleagues, so many wonderful questions, yeah? So we have some messages in our Skype chat. So that's great that we will have opportunity to watch live session, thank you, yeah? And also mention sport. Yes, yeah, so Evgenia, thank you. Of course, sport, yeah, it, it, it refers uh, energy, yeah, so I get a lot of energy from sport, yeah. I'm very active as for sport, and you know, I like walking, so now my goal is to make 15,000 steps every day, every single day, and I do it in most days, and what I'm doing while walking, colleagues, let's guess, okay, maybe it's a question for everybody in the chat box, or maybe you can say with voice. So I'm walking, I'm making my steps, and what do you think, what I'm doing? Okay, listening nice. to the podcast. Listening, listening. <laughs> yeah, you're right, listening, you know, I love listening to different podcasts, uh, to different things, and you know, sometimes, so I, I'm struggling, what language to listen to, you know? When I go to fitness club, so it takes 30 minutes to walk, and then uh, I return the same way, certain minutes of uh, walking. And I think, okay, if I go to fitness club, okay, I'm, I, I will listen to, let's say, uh, Arabic and then Portuguese. <laughs> and sometimes I struggle to choose a language. Yeah. But listening, colleagues, listening. Yeah. And uh, uh, Dmitry, we have a question from Janet Dragun Dragunova. Dragunova, <laughs> sorry, I don't know how exactly. Uh, how many steps uh, do you walk? Uh, 15,000 steps, yeah. 15,000. Yeah. Okay, you know, sometimes uh, I can make 12,000 steps, but so it should be, it, on average, it should be about 15,000 steps a week. Okay, sometimes maybe I can make 10,000 steps, but then on the weekend, I need to work more. But for me, it's not work. For me, it's pleasure. And at the same time, I can listen 
because we have so many wonderful resources uh, to listen and to improve our skills in any language. Yeah. Okay, colleagues, let's go, I think, to our next speaker, so Evgenia. Mm -hmm. And uh, our next speaker uh, is uh, Irina Stainovska. Irina Stainovska is a professional certified coach by the ICF, and uh, uh, she is the uh, author of uh, project The Life uh, as an Art. And uh, because of Irina Stainovska, I know Dmitry Hechlov. So <laughs> thank you, Irina. I think that you uh, can say uh, much more about yourself. So floor is yours, please. Yes, Evgenia. Thank you so much for the presentation. Nice to see you. And uh, nice to see your colleagues. Uh, and of course, uh, thank you very much for Dmitry because I'm happy to be here and to have opportunity to share with you my experience in English, in coaching. Uh, and um, I want to know uh, who knows me <laughs> in this uh, conference room. Uh, please put plus <laughs> in the chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, colleagues. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> nice to see you. And um, I thought uh, that I have only 15 minutes for my presentation, but today Dmitry said to me that <laughs> you will have more time for your presentation and uh, for your experience. Of course, I am ready. I am ready to share with you. Uh, my name is Irina Stainovska. I am a professional certified coach by the ICF and I am trainer and mentor um, in Ericsson College International. And uh, of course, I have uh, a lot of activities, uh, a lot of uh, interests in my life. Um, for example, I am a traveler. I visit, I visited uh, 30 seven countries. I saw four oceans in my life. And I do sport. I do uh, fitness, boxing. I play piano because it's my dream to play piano. <laughs> I uh, have uh, vocal lessons. And of course, I have family. I have son. And I have uh, many acti activities uh, at home. And of course, a uh, so um, busy schedule um, does not have um, opportunity for me to include all activities what I want. Uh, and of course, English uh, is an uh, important thing for me. And uh, thanks for Dmitry, I found um, the best way to include English to my life. Uh, connect English with uh, coaching because coaching is my love, is my profession, but not only profession, it's, uh, um, it's, it's style, style of my life, it's uh, philosophy of my life. Uh, because coaching uh, in my life uh, from, from 2010, about nine years. And of course, um, my uh, connection with my son, uh, with coaching helps me to uh, create a uh, love and very, very um, special, special relationship with him. Because uh, now he is uh, 15 and uh, he is uh, a very strong man now. And I think it's uh, thanks, th thanks for coaching too. And uh, what else? Uh, I, like, um, I like to write. I like uh, Russian language very much and I like to speak and li I like to write in Russian and I have uh, blogs in uh, social networks on Facebook, on Instagram, on Vkontakte. And um, I, um, I wrote articles from 2010. It's articles and uh, 
transformational stories uh, about changing life. And uh, I work with uh, clients, uh, individual clients and uh, group coaching. And uh, my topic uh, is connected with changing life, uh, with uh, work mission, uh, with uh, strong question connected with um, breakthrough, with um, a special situation when a person um, does not know what, uh, what he can do with the situation. And I want today uh, to talk to uh, you about uh, my um, maybe free direction, uh, how I uh, can use English in my life. One direction is uh, connected with my coaching work and with my uh, discovery of myself. Uh, I've um, discovered that my identity, my English identity is different. Uh, because you know, uh, it's it's very interesting. Uh, because my English identity um, more specific, brief. Uh, she thinks differently. She uh, perceives world and herself differently. And uh, uh, you know, uh, I use this approach with my clients too, uh, with clients who want to find long-term motivation. Um, I noticed that I um, learned, studied English from my Russian identity. I'm um, faced with problems, problems with speaking. Um, I, I was afraid of making mistakes. It's, uh, for me, it, it was a big problem. And uh, now I, I'm a little bit nervous because uh, I'm a perfectionist and uh, to make uh, uh, mistakes, it's a big problem for me. But now I'm with you and uh, uh, I'm not afraid of making mistakes. And uh, um, this, uh, this approach to uh, find your new identity, identity for me, it's, uh, it was English identity. It's um, a very interesting way. Uh, and uh, you know, a uh, second approach uh, with this um, idea, identity uh, of English, I started planning my life uh, in English three years ago. I um, set to plan my uh, year, but I, um, I did not do it. And I started it in English. Um, you know, I noticed that uh, my cockroaches don't speak English. <laughs> I have very ambitious goals. Uh, connected with traveling, connected with my personal, personal and spiritual growth, uh, but I am live person and I have cockroaches, of course, <laughs> but uh, they don't speak English. And three years ago, I planned my uh, life in English. Every year, every month, and I, um, I can show you my plans for this year in English. I think it will be interesting. I have a lot of part of my life and my plans in English. It's, uh, it's very inspired me. And thought activities. Uh, thought activities connected with uh, everyday life. Um, I can't uh, include uh, one hour or two hours uh, English in my life, but I can include uh, 15 minutes or 30 minutes in a day. And um, I uh, write my everyday diary in English. I have every week activities, my friend. We uh, speak English every Tuesday, 30 minutes. We discuss our events. We uh, conduct conversations uh, with each other. Uh, and um, I try to uh, have 15 minutes or 30 minutes every day. Uh, and uh, of course, it's um, 
the best, uh, the best union in my life, coaching in English, because I love coaching and now I love English. And uh, thanks for Dmitry, I um, connected these uh, areas. And uh, it's very inspired me uh, because I conduct coach sessions in English. Um, and when I worked uh, uh, work, uh, with my Russian clients, uh, sometimes I switch to English uh, with um, serious emotional problem. Because uh, this, um, this motion help, uh, helps us to, um, to close a strong emotion and uh, to see these problem, uh, problems outside. And um, I, uh, I've discovered that this approach helps me and my clients to uh, solve problems very well. It's like uh, work with metaphors uh, because um, it's the, the, my best, uh, my fa famous favorite um, work, it's uh, work with metaphors. And um, English for me, it's like uh, work with metaphors. And so um, maybe some, some words about my future ambitious goals, because I want to have presentations in English and courses, courses in English. And of course, I want, I want to learn um, new languages, uh, maybe Spanish, maybe French, maybe Italian. And it's uh, very interesting. Um, about my identity, Italian identity or French, French identity or Spanish identity. Uh, and uh, I know Dmitry has new courses. Spanish for coaches, I know. Yeah, Irina, Spanish and yeah. German for coaches, yeah. German is not my language, I, I, I think. But Spanish, I like it very much. <laughs> and, um, what else? Uh, maybe maybe uh, I'm I, uh, ready to finish my presentation. Um, I am not ideal uh, speaker, English speaker, but I'm a very happy person who loves life very much and who choose enjoy every moment of life. English, coaching, traveling, do sports or something else. Uh, thank you so much for this um, presentation, for this opportunity, for, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> so yeah. so yeah. don't be nervous. It's great uh, conversation, great speech. Thank you. And I have one question. Let be my first question. And colleagues, please prepare your questions. So, you know, what makes you happy in practicing English and coaching or coaching English? What especially makes you happy in practicing English? It's my question. Yeah, it's a very good question because um, for me, uh, coaching is a very flow activity, a very flow process. And uh, when I'm um, connected uh, coaching in English, I'm, I, I, I got a flow in English too. And for me, it's very, um, very enjoyable activity to mm. feel, uh, to feel flow, to feel flow, not only in coaching in English, to feel flow in life. Because for me, it's about, uh, about life, about joy, about happy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, and maybe one more question. So you finished uh, my basic program. English for cross-culture coaches, for professional coaches. So what helped you in this way to, to master English for coaches, to finish the program, to be happy with your results? Maybe one to three recommendations for people who would like, maybe not to take my program, maybe yes, maybe no, but to become cross-culture coaches. Yeah, uh, I... Um talk about it because um, regular practice mm -hmm. I think only 
the everyday discipline uh, help uh, us to be a master in different activities, not only English, not only coaching. I am a very disciplined discipline person. Yeah, I, I have strong system in my life. And it helps you. Yeah, it's helped, not only helped with me your very, very much. Yeah. Okay. Evgenia, do you have any questions from our participants for Irina? Me? <laughs> Uh, I see that Svetlana Landa has a question. Please, Svetlana. Yeah. Uh, so, hello, everybody. It's a pleasure to see uh, all my colleagues uh, in this conference. And thank you, Dmitry, for this uh, opportunity. And Irina, I am really impressed uh, of your uh, self-discipline uh, strategy. Uh, because sometimes for me it's uh, the competence uh, which I really need to improve. Uh, so could you please share of your mastering in the self-discipline according to English? Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> it's a very interesting question uh, because um, all my life I am um, investigated uh, this uh, topic, discipline, system and uh, in English uh, of course, uh, because I, I studied English in school, university, I had individual classes, but it's not discipline for me. When I uh, found um, internal motivation inside of me, connected with my identity, English identity, uh, with my values, why it's important for me. Um, I, um, I, I could uh, find uh, time for English, uh, not much time, only um, 50 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, uh, maybe one hour. And it's activities uh, that interesting for me. It's book, a uh, coaching book, uh, book, book, books, books about uh, spiritual growth, about personal growth. It's um, pet presentations. Uh, it's totally interesting for me. And uh, for me, it's uh, the best way to uh, save and expand my system and my discipline in English, uh, to find interest, to connect with my values, and uh, to be in uh, my English identity when I learn in English. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Irina, thank you for your answer. It's uh, really very important to find this uh, deep motivation. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, to be honest, uh, do you have some uh, internal obstacles? Uh, for example, come on, Irina, you are so tired. Uh, uh, let's go to the forest uh, without uh, listening something. Uh, is, it, is it happen uh, with you? Yeah. How yeah, you manage course. this? Of yes. Course. I am a leaf person, <laughs> you know, very leaf, and uh, I have obstacles, I have resistance sometimes, uh, but um, I, I found um, one um, important approach for me to include uh, some activities in the morning when I, I am not tired, uh, because uh, in the evening, of course, <laughs> I have obstacles and I want to uh, have a rest, yeah, in the morning, and uh, of course, like like Dima, combine some activities. When I work in or I have uh, sport, I do sport. I combine my English activity with uh, some different activities. So thank you very much. Thank you. It's thank very you, useful. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Mm -hmm. Dear colleagues, uh, do you have any questions to Irina? Yes, I, I have a question. Hello, everybody, and Irina, so much. Thank you so much for your <laughs> interesting story. <laughs> and um, uh, I wonder, uh, do you see the difference uh, when you have sessions in English or, or sessions in uh, Russian, and what kind of difference? Thank you, thank you for this question, uh, because um, when I uh, discovered this difference, it, it was inside for me. Um, 
I um, didn't understand why I can't speak English. Um, and I, I discovered that um, my Russian language, uh, it's very, uh, has very long sentence, very long questions. Uh, but English, um, it's, it's very uh, short, for, for me, it's very short language and very concrete uh, language, uh, very specific. And um, I, I found um, inside of me a special uh, uh, switch, a special button that I uh, put this button and I switch to uh, English and have uh, different, different identity and different approach for my clients and coaching. Thank you, Lydia. Yeah, my thank you. Year. Yeah, thank you. Me too. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you, Irina. Uh, do you have any question? Somebody else? I see that we have really active participants. Thank you very much. I see Inga. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. uh, Irina, uh, do you um, uh, did you uh, notice that uh, your practice in English and in Russian uh, in coaching? Uh, with your clients ha um, has a different um, quality. I don't know how to say it in Russian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, in, in another way of thinking or in other maybe techniques or uh, in other quality of competences, coach competences. Do you understand my question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or, I understand. Uh, I, I, I think about um, how I can answer a question uh, because, uh, yes, um, different uh, yeah yeah I, I have uh, I, I feel difference uh, between uh, my practice uh, coaching in English and, and, and Russian um, but I'm I don't catch uh, quality not techniques because when uh, you are PCC coach uh, you um, you don't use uh, techniques you have only strong questions and I think it's about questions uh, because quality of questions uh, in Russian and English um, is different. Uh, different um, maybe of mentality, uh, maybe of um, language. Yes, yes. I, I feel this difference between languages. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This question. Um, I like um, to investigate new topics, and uh, your question uh, helps me uh, to continue this investigation. It's very interesting for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, colleagues. Uh, I see that we don't have a questions anymore. Thank you very much, Irina. Your... I have a question. Ah, I have a question, Katerina. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Uh -huh. um, my question, um, just a moment. Um, Irina, we um, haven't met, we haven't been acquainted till this moment, but uh, um, I know you, I saw you uh, presented uh, one of the subjects uh, in English. Uh, and after that, I subscribed to your Instagram because it was uh, very interesting for me to know more about you. And I'm, um, I feel, um, uh, I find, I find your posts uh, uh, on Instagram uh, very motivating for me, and uh, I read them with a great pleasure. But my question is very pragmatic. <laughs> I want to ask about your PCC credential, and I would like to know if you can share this information. If uh, PCC credential help you helps you to uh, get the new clients, uh, and especially in English, it would be equally interesting if you could share if uh, the PCC credentials helps to get the clients in Russian as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, my Instagram is a very inspirational activity for me because uh, 
I um, combine uh, all uh, my interests in my Instagram beauty, beautiful dresses and uh, traveling and coaching and so on. Thank you so much. About uh, PCC credential, um, I don't have a goal to have uh, um, foreign uh, clients. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not my goal, uh, but uh, it's a good opportunity to um, have uh, another language and uh, to have new clients if, uh, if it's uh, possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, about Russian clients, of course, this is a credential. Uh, it um, helps me to uh, work with uh, business because uh, business uh, knows about ACC, PCC, MCC, and uh, applying for uh, ACC and PCC coaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's helped me. And. Uh, in this year, my PCC credential, um, I, I need to continue because three, three years and the next three years, I need to continue my PCC credential. Mm, and how many hours do you have right now, if it's not a secret? <laughs> not, not a secret, more than uh, one and a half thousand hours. Mm, that's very impressive. Yeah, I like <laughs> coaching very much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you very much for sharing this. Thank you. Thank Good you luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Irina, you see that <laughs> your presentation was very successful and I uh, really like your energy also. Um, Inna asks uh, your Instagram. I will uh, send, uh, dear colleagues, I will send uh, Instagram of Irina in our chat box. And uh, now, uh, questions uh, was finished, yeah? Okay. Uh, so, uh, dear colleagues, uh, we want to, to hear uh, your personal stories. And uh, we even uh, have uh, one uh, who want to share on personal story. It's uh, Svetlana Landa. Thank you for your initiative <laughs> and please uh, you have uh, two or three minutes uh, share your story thank you oh, thank you it's very short uh, time <laughs> so thank you for this challenge I like challenge a lot but first of all I would like to say uh, uh, <laughs> deep, um, uh, thank you and uh, I feel gratitude to Dmitry for a wonderful uh, course uh, English uh, for coaches because this course helped me helped uh, me a lot to improve my uh, English and uh, um, so it was a challenge for me uh, how I can start my practice uh, in English so thank you Dmitri for this uh, course and thank you for all participants and uh, I uh, now I see a lot of my colleague uh, from this course uh, and uh, we have a lot of practice with uh, each other, uh, I mean coaching in English and that also helped me. And my experience uh, from uh, this, um, uh, from last year uh, when I started uh, coaching in English uh, was wonderful because my strategy is uh, uh, to challenge myself and uh, uh, during this uh, course, uh, English for Coaching, I took peer-to-peer um, uh, -peer coaching in English and uh, now uh, I am in preparation of MCC credential and it was uh, a course, uh, uh, no, course, it was peer-to-peer uh, -peer coaching uh, for MCC preparation in ICF, uh, um, uh, in ICF uh, site, uh, website, uh, we have uh, this uh, opportunity and um, uh, twice for this uh, year I uh, took part of uh, this peer-to-peer -peer, uh, coaching uh, process uh, with uh, six wonderful uh, coaches from uh, in other countries, from USA, from UK, uh, from Italy and it's helped me a lot uh, to know more about cross-culture coaching and uh, of course it's helped me uh, to feel myself more, to feel uh, more confidence when I coach because uh, we talk uh, 
on the deep level of uh, coaching uh, conversation and uh, they gave me a lot of feedback because this um, peer-to-peer uh, MCC preparation course uh, um, includes 30 minutes uh, session, live session, and 30 minutes feedback from your <coughs> coach, uh, from your coachee, because they also um, at the same uh, level and preparing for MCC credential. And uh, if you have uh, this opportunity, uh, I can uh, uh, recommend you to uh, uh, use this uh, ICF uh, uh, possibility for improve uh, English. And uh, after that, uh, I have uh, uh, three clients uh, pay, uh, pay paid clients in uh, in English because. Uh, some of my colleagues would like to continue work with me uh, and uh, also in ICF um, website, International Global ICF uh, website. As a PCC uh, coach, I have my um, CV and uh, also some clients uh, find, I mean business uh, clients find me uh, and uh, um, uh, suggest uh, to be a coach from uh, um, from, uh, to this uh, company in uh, Russia and I use my uh, Russian and uh, English language uh, to work with my clients uh, of this uh, company. So it's my short, uh, short presentation for last year uh, after uh, Dmitry's course and of course I have uh, a lot of uh, things uh, to say but I have only limited uh, uh, time. So I am stopping. <laughs> Thank you very much, Svetlana. Um, and uh, dear colleagues, uh, probably do you have uh, questions to respond? Or okay. Uh, so um, we uh, have an uh, arrangement with uh, one our participant, Inga. Inna, Inna. Uh, I'm sorry, Inna. Oh, well, uh, uh? <laughs> you said Inga, so I'm afraid. Oh my God, I, I have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> but you can say because we, um, everybody here, uh, because of uh, practicing English, so you can share your experience also. So uh, we have an arrangement. Um, I. Um, uh, I've decided to support our participant, Ina, uh, and uh, to share uh, my short story. It's really a short story. I hope it uh, will motivate you. Uh, and uh, after that, Ina will share her own story. Yes, yeah? Ina? Yes. Are you here? Okay. Yes, thank you. So, about my short story. It's uh, more about English uh, than about uh, coaching. But anyway, um, I think um, my story um, will motivate you uh, just because I've learned English uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago, and I didn't learn English in the school. So, um, I just had a practice uh, for seven months uh, with the foreigners every day, daily practice. And after seven months, uh, I started to uh, speak fluently, but with mistakes, of course. Uh, the most important that I really adore English, and it was before. And because of this, uh, I think that it's the main, uh, uh, this is the main reason why I've learned English so uh, fast. And um, after one year, I finished uh, the program uh, Dmitry, of Dmitry Hachlov, English for Professional Coaches. And uh, I started to conduct the coaching sessions in English. Uh, I, had a, um, I had, I think, a um, level intermediate or... Um, middle intermediate or upper intermediate, something like that. And uh, in the last year, I uh, was uh, um, a member of uh, International Relationships uh, Committee by the ICF and uh, I helped uh, to organize 
uh, some uh, several conferences uh, for uh, members of ICF. And uh, what else? Uh, now I um, translate uh, my uh, own program um, for public uh, speaking. And uh, I've noticed that uh, coaching in English uh, much easier than coaching in Russian. Because um, you don't have a space in your mind, it's, uh, I guess, that you don't have a space in your mind for internal dialogue. And uh, in this case, you um, more feel your client and uh, you can be close to your client and feel much uh, better and so on. It's my uh, short experience. Uh, I uh, have uh, not so much, but I have uh, clients uh, uh, for coaching in English and I use this resource, what Dmitri shared with us, Interpels, and it helps me. And uh, I think that now, uh, turn of Inna. Inna, are you ready? It's yes, I'm ready. <laughs> and Inna, please share your personal story. Hello, everybody. Uh, nice to see you, friends. Uh, I'm Inna Kovalenko, and uh, I hope that uh, even after some time, I will tell you hi, colleagues, because now I'm just a student of. Uh, coaching academy uh, that's uh, named Inner Insight by Vladimir Barano. Uh, so it's my first time, first steps in coaching world <laughs> and uh, I like uh, English very much. I just uh, like much foreign languages and uh, uh, in some successful times, I have practiced English with um, foreigners and with uh, foreign friends. I started about five years ago, and at, uh, this time it was my intermediate level of speaking English. Now I think <laughs> it's just the level London is the capital of Great Britain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that uh, uh, Russian, um, who is Russian, uh, should know this uh, type of type of. Okay, I forget this word. <laughs> Just oh, use uh, sign a name in the... what? Use sign a name. Use another word. Uh, this. This, I don't know this this, this, word. this analog of level uh, of English. Uh, London is the capital of Great Britain. <laughs> so I think you understand me. And um, this is my uh, not big um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not big story in uh, profession of coach. I'm studying to um, PCC level now, and I hope that uh, I will have opportunity to practice and coach foreigners. And uh, as uh, Irina said, to have just life of my dreams. <laughs> Uh, I'm coming to professional coach uh, uh, because all of, uh, all of my conversation with my friends or um, someone uh, was like um, questions and uh, <laughs> my son, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, after my questions, uh, all of um, all, uh, much people with uh, whom I have conversation had insights. So that's why I uh, start to get my lifestyle to professional way. Thank you, Inna. Oh. 
<laughs> thank you. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for your uh, boldness. Uh, and uh, I congratulate you with your public experience in English. Thank you. Okay, uh, so uh, let's continue our um, English coaching week. And I would like um, to, um, to get personal story of uh, Alex Stepanov, uh, Stepanov, actually. Alex, do you hear me? Because I know uh, exactly the uh, success of uh, Alex. Uh, in this year, Alex. Uh, uh, yes, Alec, I see. I see that you are ready. So you can you can say uh, much more about your success. Hello, do you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I I I do not know about uh, my success exactly. Uh, Timothy uh, I, Or not? <laughs> uh, but. Mm. Yes, we we worked with Zhenya in uh, International Committee mm, of ICF, uh, and uh, I tried uh, to do something um, mm, how to say it, unbelievable uh, when we um, uh, wanted to invite some famous uh, coaches, some famous. Uh, specialist to our international conference, I uh, decided to invite the top 10 famous coaches uh, in the world. And Jenia invited me because I was the first who created this idea. <laughs> and uh, that time I uh, invited uh, Tim Golby, uh, Tim Golby to participate in uh, uh, our international ICF conference, uh, and uh, suddenly uh, he answered me. Uh, yes, it was very unexpected, but uh, now <laughs> I am uh, um, his representative and uh, I'm uh, the facilitator of uh, uh, International uh, School of uh, Inner Game by Timothy Golby. Uh, and uh, I uh, could do it because I knew English. And uh, that time I studied with Genia uh, in the course of cross-cultural uh, coaching, uh, conducted by uh, Dmitry Hatlop, who is the organizer of our conference. Uh, and it helped me to go to Milan to have uh, to have studying uh, in um, how to say it as a facilitator of uh, inner game because it was four days uh, studying in English and I have never um, tried to do it uh, and I uh, could do it uh, easily and um, because <laughs> maybe I, I had no choice uh, at that time. And um, so I um, have some training and I believe, believed in myself. Uh, and um, I think that uh, I, I, I agree with Jenia and with Dmitry about coaching in English uh, because it's um, maybe much easier and more fun uh, when in Russian. Uh, I tried to do my first session maybe from the first uh, first uh, day of studying English with Dmitry. And I was uh, I um, was very surprised that I could do it. <laughs> I didn't know before about it, about my about this my ability. And so I um, uh, want to tell you, please don't uh, be patient, don't be, uh, don't uh, wait. Uh, try uh, to practice uh, English in coach session if you are coaches. Thank you, Jenia, for uh, giving me so uh, 
unexpectedly <laughs> we wrote <laughs> without any preparation. <laughs> Actually, I written you about it because Timothy Golvi is very important for every coach. So I decided that it's uh, it was a really great experience, and you must share it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Jose. and Dmitry. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, colleagues, uh, Evgeny, I want to say, uh, so we have 10 minutes to finish our first day, and I know two people would like to tell shortly about the experience, colleagues. So let's uh, listen to them, and then in five or six minutes, we're going to present you the second day, uh, announce the program for our second day tomorrow. Okay, uh, Ekaterina, Ekaterina Abramov. Okay, so you have one, two minutes to share your first experience experience in cross-culture coaching okay mm -hmm. then olga so you can help me olga, olga sazonova is our next uh, speaker yeah let's have two two minutes about two minutes for each speaker and then five minutes to finish our first day okay okay uh thank you for thank you very much for this opportunity just like i said my name is ekaterina and i'm from saint petersburg uh, I have HR background, very extensive one. I've been working uh, for the international company for, for many years and I'm still working there, but uh, being on the maternity leave, uh, I decided that I need, a, um, I need a turn in my career and started to look for some uh, tools or instruments that would help me to work with the personnel even on a better level. I'm uh, the person who is fond, who is fond of um, Mm, linear management, if you know what I mean, uh, where there is no hierarchy. And coaching in this sense um, is a very accurate and very useful instrument. So um, I got acquainted with uh, uh, um, uh, basics in coaching with um, Katerina Akman. She is also a PCC coach. And then I, was got, I got very inspired and very motivated to join uh, the program of Olga Ribina. Uh, and uh, I finished it in September last year. I got uh, this ACSTH uh, five books, five letters, I mean, five letters uh, diploma. Um, and I have about uh, 100 hours of coaching, of course, compared to uh, 1500 hours of coaching. It's not a lot, but still I'm, I'm, I'm a fresh coach. I'm just a beginner. And at the same time, mm, I started to practice this in English. I found out about Mitri's program and uh, got also very motivated to join it. Um, I had absolutely no doubts doing that, and uh, I really enjoy our, uh, our group, and I enjoy uh, the way that Dmitri teaches us, and I feel my progress, I feel how I progress every day in terms of uh, uh, different competences, in terms of uh, uh, my level of English and uh, everything that I'm doing there during uh, the classes and beyond the classes as well. As, um, as you know, if you started with Dmitri, you know that uh, we have a lot of work to do during the homework, a lot of work. So, <laughs> so it takes a lot of time, but still it's very enjoyable. Um, and uh, what I'm planning to do is to have the international clients. That's one of my goals in the future. But um, right now I have a two-year-old daughter and she's my biggest priority. That's why I cannot spend too much time doing coaching. But uh, I'm, you know, like um, absorbing a lot of material uh, in order to be able to um, to be able to get to another level, and I hope it will ha happen soon. Um, and a couple of more words about how English um, helps. Uh, you know, if you want, if you're thinking about joining the program or not, or maybe you've already started started with uh, Dmitri. Um, it's uh, it's it's uh, this is the program which gives you another horizon, I would say. And like my ex-boss said, used to say, um, if you insert all your energy and all your efforts in what you love, in what you, uh, what you actually uh, long for, uh, then the sky is the limit. And I remember this phrase, and I um, always remember it when I have some troubles, <laughs> or, some, uh, or I have some kind of, you know, uh, drawbacks or uh, things that uh, uh, seriously influence my condition in physical or emotional way. Um, but I still remember these words and I try to live uh, using this motto. So thank you very much for, uh, for giving me this opportunity. And I hope if you haven't yet joined the program, you will do that. 
Oh, thank you very much, Ekaterina, for interesting experience. Uh, if you uh, can, uh, can you uh, share with our chat box uh, this phrase? It's just for me. Interesting. Sure. It's interesting yeah. for our colleagues also. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Motivation for us. Okay, and uh, uh, we have uh, one minute. One maximum maximum uh, two minutes for Olga Sazonova. Um, please, Olga, the floor is yours. Or maybe, Olga, if you're here, uh, on Friday, we're going to have a little bit more time when we're going to talk about top six. Yes. How yes. To okay. English. On Friday. Okay. okay. One, one minute or maybe on Friday. Friday. More time for you. Okay. <laughs> I think how, one, how, one, how it will be better for... I think one minute is not enough, yeah? Because you have... <laughs> yes, I have. I want to have a big gratitude for your course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Olga, on Friday, please okay. come to us. So you will be the first person who is going to share experience. Friday. No, Friday. okay. I will try. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh. You will finish or I will finish our meeting? Yeah, I think we can finish and uh, it's great uh, how active our participants. Thank you very much for finding that you find, found time for our um, English Coaching Week, the first day for opening of this event. Thank you for being active. And uh, I would like to announce uh, our program for tomorrow. Um, and of course, <laughs> thank you very much for our speakers, Mitya Khoflov and Irina Stoyanovska. Uh, our program for tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Gorka Bartolome, uh, he is a master certified uh, coach by the ICF from Spain. Uh, he's going to share with us uh, the topic how to become a successful cross-cultural coach. And uh, I think that um, what uh, the most uh, interesting for you is uh, he uh, will conduct a demo session with one of our participants. So you have a chance uh, to um, participate uh, in uh, this demo session. Uh, join us tomorrow at the same time with the same link. And uh, thank you very much for our event today. Okay, so Evgenia, thank you for being such a nice co-host. Thank you very much. And colleagues, it was pleasure to open, to officially open our English Coaching Week. I am waiting for you tomorrow and every day at 12 o'clock this week, the same link. Please join us and let's practice English and coaching together. Let's grow together. And Evgenia, thank you very much again for you and for all our speakers today and for all coaches who talked and expressed their impressions and experience. See you tomorrow at the same time in the same place, colleagues. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye.